Los Angeles Times has printed some pictures uh, of our soldiers uh, standing around uh, dead uh, Afghanis. Now, I have read that some of these were, were obviously uh, fighters against us, and, and that some of them might have been suicide bombers. Now, uh, there's a big controversy over whether you should show the pictures. Well, we're going to, okay, as the LA Times did. And uh, of course, the people who create that controversy are the government, who don't want these pictures out because it shows uh, our forces in a bad light. Part of that is understandable. They don't want violence against our forces. But you know what? Then uh, you should correct the heart of the problem and not try to bury the news. So Jesus, let's take a look at those pictures. So these are body parts, obviously, you know, graphic, graphic pictures here. Blown up people uh, in this 82nd Airborne. So LA Times uh, said that they have a lot more than this, but they put up a representative sample that you, so that you can get a sense of it. Uh, getting mad at the messenger is ridiculous, okay? They're reporting the news, that's news. It was leaked to them by an anonymous soldier because he wanted people to get a sense of how little discipline there is in Afghanistan. And of course, the Pentagon is trying to cover their ass. So like I said, partly understandable, we don't want violence against our forces. But then that's why you shouldn't have had this in the first place. Not try to cover it up after the fact. And the second part of it is keep, get a, keep, Keep real here, okay? So what, what, they're gonna, what they're gonna do is they're gonna get in trouble here because it turns out that they couldn't institute any discipline over their forces and they wound up taking these ridiculous pictures so they don't want those commanding officers getting in trouble. So now Leon Panetta, Hillary Clinton, et cetera, have all called these pictures outrageous and then Leon Panetta has gone further and said the LA Times should not be publishing them and it gets our uh, troops in trouble. No, their actions got our troops in trouble. And I'm not just blaming those guys. They've created an environment here in Afghanistan uh, that unfortunately is apparently conducive to this. Earlier, we showed you pictures of our troops urinating on dead Afghans. And then, gee, I wonder why the local population uh, is not on our side. I wonder why we haven't won the hearts and minds. Now, you think the local population doesn't know that already? Yeah, of course they know that. Now, they'll know it on a larger scale if you show the pictures, but that's why you shouldn't have done it in the first place. That's why you shouldn't have taken the pictures in the uh, first place. And by the way, that's why you shouldn't have gone to war in the first place. Every time when we rush into war, yes, we got to do it. Don't worry about the cost. Don't worry about the people that are going to get killed. Let's go in. Oh, my God. Iraq is so dangerous. Afghanistan is so dangerous. Iran is so dangerous. And then afterwards, we, when horrible things happen, they go, no, 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 cover it up. And if you can't cover it up, well, war is hell. What can you do? Yeah, I know what you can do. Not get into one. So let's learn from this so that we don't make the mistake of rushing into another disastrous war in the Middle East like in Iran, Young Turks.